So, Mr. Rowland called me and said his ladder done blowed off the roof. So I'm going to help him out. So what we got here? What, what happened, buddy? <laughs> we gotta get him on camera. We gotta get him on camera. What is this? What is this? OSHA! OSHA here! It's a crowd. There you are. Tell me what happened. I'm with OSHA. I heard a loud noise. I heard a loud. <laughs> Let me get. This. So, can you tell me what happened? I the ladder off the building because I wanted to see you. <laughs> uh, so he said the rope that somebody bought, who previously worked here, it was a piece of crap rope. We think that person that bought that rope knew that that would happen Probably. and wanted that to happen to you, Roland. But he did have his, his ladder tied off. Rope broke. Now we got it secured. We're ready to go. Tell me what you got. This. What is this? Pilot tube. It uh, looks like it stopped up. Really? I looked down in it. You can see that blue corrosion inside of it. Wow. Package gas. York. Beautiful. So check this out just took this pilot tube out of the gas valve this pilot tube goes into this little nut here and then this flare nut connects to another tube and this right here carries the flame over so you can see right there is the flame sensor and you took the igniter out I couldn't see it yeah so interesting so we think this tube is stopped up Right here. Well, let's blow on it. Let's see what happens. Here. Oh, it's, I think she stopped it's definitely stopped up. So I'm trying to get that out. What are we going to do here with this little tube? You want to tear it off? I'm just kidding. <laughs> turn it on it. Has it got, has it got, uh, what kind of, what holds it in? Hmm? What holds it to the. Mm, that's a very good question. Yeah, no. there's a screw right here but, and a ooh. screw right here. But so we just need to take those off. All right. So this right here is the pilot tube orifice. So it's not stopped up through here. It's just stopped up right here and you can actually see it. So stopped up right here in the pilot tube orifice and we're not able to light the flame for the pilot. So we're not getting any gas through this portion of the pipe because the pilot orifice right here is stopped up. So we gotta get that unstopped. See that? Got a better picture. All right, let's see what we can do. So you can shine a light through it now. Let me show you how we unstop this thing. This little pilot tube orifice. We got a Allen tool and we put it in here. Let me know if you got a better way. But that right there is how we did it. Beautiful. So. Can't really see. Trying to give you guys a good shot. Can't really see it now, but it is not stopped up like it was. Rewind the video. You'll be able to see. Let's put it back together and watch it light. Screwing it back on. So the burners are lined up had to line up each one of these burners and place it through this this plate here now we're screwing it in sorry roll <laughs> that's what you get tad for holding the phone now you gotta line them all back up i'm just gonna let you do it man it works that way they get to see the magic Good deal. Let me check. Make sure the ladder's still there. Oh, it's still there. Well, we'd be in trouble, <laughs> wouldn't we? Oh, man. Oh, man. That's funny. That is funny. Let me tighten the other two. Beautiful. I'll go get that little pipe. 
just a random video today guys nothing no real subject matter other than the fact that the ladder got blown off the roof and i thought that was funny no one got hurt and of course we got some educational material here with this carryover track carryover pipe what are you doing I tried you mean to you could have just pulled that out i tried and it didn't tried. come out no it wouldn't come out oh okay nice. quit playing with How it is that there we go so this pipe here connects and then that right there connects to the gas valve okay excellent interesting setup york's got here got that connected connect the pilot tube into the gas valve so the pilot valve is the first thing that's energized on this gas valve and then that pilot valve opens and the gas valve sends gas through this pilot tube and then through this pilot tube's orifice and then into the carryover track or carryover pipe all right we're ready to go and that is the carryover track or carryover pipe all right so placing the burner assembly inside of this york gas package unit commercial package unit Oops. <laughs> so there's the igniter Got the flame sensor on the left, igniter on the right. Looks like it's held in with a quarter inch screw. Excellent. This right here is a five ton unit, 060. And tells you down here, low fire and high fire. So. Low stage and high stage tells you what inches of water column that you should have on the manifold pressure. 1.2 for low stage, 3.5 for high stage. So if you ever want to measure the pressure of the pilot, you just take this tube out and then put your port there, connect your manometer. Got to hook up this union, turn the gas on. Looks like someone installed a new control board on this. So you can see right here, it says carryover tube. That's the tube right there. Carryover tube, eighth inch gap between carryover tube and flame sensor bulb. Burner assembly bracket. So before we had an ignition control lockout, we got the gas on. First thing that should happen is we should send power to our pilot valve and we should open up the pilot valve and send pressure into our pilot tube. So run me down on common problems with this type of package gas unit. What kind of common problems do you have when you work on this type of equipment? Look at this. All right. That's great. <laughs> Can you give any of the guys out there any advice? Like, what do you usually, like, what do you find, man? Broken belts. Broken belts. All right. Broken belts. What else? So the belts in here. We find broken belts. What else? Control boards. Control boards. They go bad. All right, control boards go bad. I think the board used to be further down. I think they moved it up on the new ones. They used to be closer to the bottom. Ah. The drains clog up. You get water in here. 
end of the web work. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. Cool. What else? Not really. The only other thing I know of, I've replaced I think two of these. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two draft inducers. So draft inducers, blades rust out. All right. Now that, this is heating. Then that this is what you find for heating. Then is what you're saying. Got it. Now we've got orifice. Got the pilot tube orifice for that carryover tube stopped up. So our pilot flame wasn't able to be lit. Therefore, our main burner wouldn't light. All right. Anything else you want to say? Thanks for rescuing me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I just expected to show you the ladder falling and didn't really expect to show you anything else, but so glad that stuck around was able to fix this problem with Roland and hopefully this will be a learning experience for you. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and I'll keep you warm if you let me. Roland, what is this? I think that belongs over there. Wow, man. That is not good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go see what we got here. I'm gonna have to help Taco Bell out. Taco Bell. Oh, there's no belt on there. They must not use this. But that motor's definitely bad now. Clamp these in. Go ahead and get out of here. That's a little better. Stay healthy, stay happy. What do you want to do with this rope now? Throw it in the fire. Throw it in the fire, good deal. Yeah. Whoever gave you that rope, just terrible.